Hey, me again. Uh, it's kind of raining out today. I'm gonna go out and get some groceries at the market and I'm um, toying with the idea to try to show like one or two things every day that's kind of different about my life here in China. Because there's, there's so many different things. It's like, it's like a different world. This is, this is one of the things I, I showed in my last video. Here's uh, another little waterfall in our subdivision. They turn the fountains on somewhere around like 10 in the morning, 11 in the morning, and then about four or five at night. Like uh, when everybody's leaving for work or coming back home kind of healthy but they don't they don't have them run like all day and then uh, say I had a couple questions about the security gates this this is what it looks like at the gate oh see the guards aren't really guards they like hold the door open for you and stuff it makes it feel kind of nice like if you got a box or something they'll open the gate for you uh, this part of the gate over here is for the electric vehicles so they can check in and out like this guy a little scan their tab and then the little gate opens and they drive through and there's a people gate here's, here's the security guards behind me in the smaller subdivisions usually at night they're like sleeping but they kind of monitor the cameras, make sure everything's going okay. So uh, it's, it's kind of nice to have somebody watching over you. Ni hao. Ni hao. Uh, give a, uh, Yumi? Oh, okay. I just got uh, some fresh made dumplings and two tea eggs. So they're boiled eggs with a bunch of spices. They're really tasty. It's like they're pre-salted. Uh, there's like some anise, some uh, cinnamon. I don't know, every place has their own little recipe. But they're one of my favorites. They taste pretty good. Here's what a street looks like. So these, these are all the shops that are on the first floor of like the outside of our subdivision. Restaurant. Ooh, that one's under construction. See? There's a plant store. I really like that one. So like up there, there's a bunch of apartments and these are all the businesses. This is like another subdivision that's about mm, a half to three quarter of a miles away. So that's like a whole nother version of what I live in here. There's like neighborhoods that you can see from a distance all over the place. Uh, right now I'm walking to, I guess what you'd call, call our post office. So if you get something delivered, it goes to this little like outside corner of our subdivision and they send you the information that you need to pick up your package. And then you just kind of show them the information and they give you your package. Sometimes uh, it's outside the subdivision Sometimes they'll try to deliver it to your door. Sometimes uh, there's like these, I guess community PO box, I guess is the best way I could describe it. Um, it's like this wall of lockers and you go up to the screen and you punch in the number that you get the text message for and then one of the doors pops open and you take your package and then you close the door. So I think we have two things coming today. I got a Mandarin learning book, or three of them, that I bought as a package. 
And, oh, we bought some, some face masks because you need them to ride the subway. So we got like three pink ones and three black ones. Over here, there are a few like shipping container makeshift buildings. That's where some of the packages come. And then here's another, this is where the other packages come. And they come on these little delivery trucks. Super small, but efficient. Uh, no big UPS trucks here. Uh, at this level, they're all really small. Okay, I got my packages. Uh, I got them from these tents. So that's the thing. Like I say, you just kind of go for it and the cars drive around you. So there's another unique thing about picking up your packages. Uh, recycling is a really big thing in China. And not just like recycling the products, they'll recycle uh, without breaking the things down. So like when you buy the oil from the market, you use rewashed plastic water bottles pretty much. So it's very common for people, like the, the older population, to walk around collecting uh, recyclable materials. Uh, but people go around and collect uh, anything that's recyclable out of the garbage. It's usually, you set it next to the garbage so they don't have to like pick through the garbage. But like I said, recycling is a really big thing around here. And they make it uh, valuable to make sure that the recycling doesn't get thrown out. And I say this because the other day I picked up my computer chair. It came in a big box, right? And there was this little old lady. She was really nice. And I kind of like pointed at it. I pointed at her. And they have carts. So they'll help you bring your package from the place you pick it up to your apartment as long as you give them the cardboard, the box came, the, the cardboard box that it came in. <laughs> Which sounds kind of weird, but uh, you know, it's valuable. So the lady popped my chair on a cart and brought it all the way to my door. And we, I gave her all the cardboard. I think it, I think it was a really fair trade. I need to throw the cardboard out <laughs> anyway. So um, that's one way they collect it. The other way is, you know, if, if I would have brought it to my apartment myself. They don't really have dumpsters. Um, outside every building there's like three garbage cans. Like regular garbage cans. Like everybody has one for the, their house. Like back home. But they empty them uh, pretty consistently all day in these little, little trucks. Crossing the street in China. You kind of just go for it. Cars stop for you. They have to, uh, by law. So you could be completely not paying attention as long as you're in a crosswalk. You just cross the street. And no matter how fast the cars are going, they stop. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but you just kind of go for it. And they stop. I mean, obviously you don't jump out in front of a speeding car, but you know. Okay, uh, I'll take you to one other place. And these are uh, a bunch of people that sell vegetables on the street. These are vegetables they grow themselves. And they just kind of post up right on the sidewalk. And they sell them. So this is the market. This guy fixes electric bikes and sells fruit. So weird, I helped my friend fix his, his, uh, his bike. Uh, one of the controllers went bad. So he looked on his phone and he found this, uh, he found this place that sells the electronic part that we needed. It was like a remote control with a little box controller, right? So we walked to my food market where I always buy my food. I didn't even know this guy fixed uh, electric bikes or, or like sold anything. And he's like, yeah, this guy. I'm like, what? He, he sells fruit. And he's, 
He runs in the back and he comes back out. And he had the right part. We fixed his bike. This is where we buy eggs. Right here, this one. Right here, this door, this door. This is where we get anything we need for the house. So uh, we bought that at uh, oil dispenser the other day. We bought there. We bought our cutting boards, a couple knives. Uh, we'll probably buy some dishes later on. Uh, this is how you buy pork at the market. Just on meat hooks. They butcher them every day. They hang them. There's some chickens. We're, we, we've started to buy freshly uh, uh, slaughtered chickens. So I'm here in the morning. Most of this meat will be gone like halfway through the day. Everybody buys everything, so the earlier you get here, the fresher the vegetables. This is all the vegetables, kind of like a farmer's market. And it, it's enclosed, like there's a ceiling, fruits. There's on the other side too. It smells really good here. This place makes noodles. Here's all the noodles that they sell. And then this place makes alcohol. That's a big still. So authenticity is kind of a thing here, but uh, when you can see it made, you know it's fresh and you know where it comes from. I know I mentioned before, it was a place where they make their own cooking oil. Hmm. Oh, and they recycle the bottles. So here, these are people that get bottles and bring their own bottles, and this is the mill. So this is the place that makes the oil, and then he filters it a couple of times. I forget where I bought the chicken. So if you look, there's some live chickens and ducks okay I got it there were two chicken breasts and they came off the same chicken today pretty fresh and really tasty oh yeah the chicken I bought uh, was uh, Shisan or 13 yuan Right now, uh, yuan is a little less than seven to one American dollar. So the chicken, I got two chicken breasts for like less than two dollars. We're right back where I came in. We just kind of made one big loop. So like the fruit stand. Here's the guy I was talking about that uh, sold us this guy. Hello, Niha. <laughs> kind of hard for me to hide. Hello? Hello? Yeah. See, I'm, I'm really popular. Everybody loves to say, say hi to the American. I'm like the only blonde guy here ever. So, actually, I think I'm the only American in the whole subdivision. There's only like less than 10 foreigners in our whole city block. So, so I'm pretty popular. Everybody knows. Everybody knows me. Hope you liked it. Hope to say hi to everybody soon. Okay, take care.